Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna do the comparison between the NRT8 and the NRT6. So stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Now, a lot of you guys ask me what is the difference between the NRT8 and the NRT6 and which one I can recommend. So I decided to make one quick comparing video. But before we start, I just want to say that both of my printers are upgraded, but even now in the print quality, they are performing pretty much identical. Now, starting with the comparing. First, the size of the printer. If you look at the size of the NRT8, you can see that the NRT8 is a bit bigger and taller printer in a size comparing to the NRT6, but even smaller NRT6 can produce a taller print in the Z axis because the way this X carriage is mounted, which I came in a second. Uh, the, the build volume here is a 220 by 220 by 250, and here the build volume is a 220 by 220 by 240. So, uh, why the NRT6 producing can produce a taller print? Because the X carriage is mounted in a horizontal mode, and here is mounted on a vertical mode. So horizontal mode is a, a bit more stable, I found a bit more stable, and it's something similar like on the, on the Ultimaker. And here, this is a Prusai 3 clone, it's a vertical style, it's working awesomely, but this one is a slightly more stable. Now, if we're comparing the frames of the both printer, they are sharing the same acrylic type of the frame, but a uh, frame on the A6 is a bit more stronger, because this whole front side of the printer are made from single piece of acrylic sheet. So if you want to wobble this printer or shake it, you're going to find that NRT6 has a more rigid frame than the NRT8, which can shake a little bit. These upgrades can help. Only main difference that I found of usage of this printer, which is the only main difference, is this LCD. So LCD is a bigger and nicer with this knob, much easier to use and navigate to the software if you compare the NRT8, which using these buttons. So it's much more enjoyable and easier to use NRT6 because of this knob and this nice LCD. As well, if you need to uh, reboot your printer or reset, there is a button right here. And on the NRT8, you have to like search to on the motherboard and press it. Other than that, any other electronic as well mechanical components are pretty much identical. The both printers are sharing uh, same power supply, uh, same type of motherboard, same steppers, same drag drive system, same nozzle. I mean, they are pretty much the same, even bearings are the same. The only slight difference that I found different on my NRT6 uh, when I got it, it is that the, the belts was uh, nicer rubber belts. And uh, on my NRT8, I um, actually had a plastic belt. So that was the main difference. Not sure about the kits, if you ordered right now, which, uh, which uh, belts you're gonna get. And one more difference between A6 and A8, is in this Z carriages. This is a stock Z carriage for uh, my NAT A6. They're made from acrylic, and this is a stock NAT A8 carriage. Uh, they're made from PLA. So obviously, it's much easier because you can uh, print out the new carriage and uh, change any color that you want or replace for some reason if the tolerance is not good. Uh, on the, these uh, carriages from NAT A6, made from acrylic park, I found them. Uh, to be easier uh, to slide the rods out if you want to for change the bearings, for example, on your X carriage. So uh, not a huge fan of this uh, acrylic part, to be honest. They, they look a little bit complicated and I print the new one, which is more simple. But um, there is uh, that screw which allows you easier to slide your rods out and change the bearings. All right. About the print quality, the print quality are pretty much identical. Uh, the only thing which is different uh, that I found is the NAT8 has a slightly better cooling nozzle from the start. So uh, then the NAT6, the NAT6 has a bit shorter uh, cooling air nozzle, which can lead to the just a tiny bit uh, worse uh, print uh, quality than the NAT8. But if you manage to print exactly same type of cooling nozzle of both printers, and your your rods are not bent, you're gonna end up with exactly same uh, print quality. And one more difference is that ANAT8 has no cover for the motherboard and ANAT A6 has the cover for motherboard out from the box. 
Well, guys, which printer I should recommend? Well, it's hard to say, to be honest, because I have both of these printers and I love to use them. They are great printers for the price. Uh, but I have to say that a 8 has uh, much more support and tons of different parts on the Thingiverse that you can download and upgrade and totally change the look of this printer. So um, if you want to go crazy with the mods, go with a 8 But if you want to just keep it the printer how it is and you know change just a few parts then you can go with a 6 so guys uh, i hope that you find this video useful that you like it if you want to purchase one of these printer have a look in the uh, links in the video description i will leave links there i hope that you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye bye